So the final race then of week 12 is a, this might be a new race actually, it's the Last Suspect Hunters National, 4 mile and 3 furlongs, 0 to 110, top one Zell Stupo for Darren Thompson, Marie Antoinette, Kevin Meanhan, Spring Jamaican, Stu Gray, BRM James Follis, Lasse Esprit, Martin Lidham, Dunno in all, Darren House. hope she does his Darren House as well, Eck here for Alex Cherry, Master Martha's for Graham Clutterbuck, Joala Street and Street Joala for Doug Warren, Boredom and Alice Rich for Carla Agant, and right stuff for Obi-Wan, this could be quite interesting, one or two of these, ran creditably in the Grand National last week so just to stay on a low enough mark to get into this this could be a could be an interesting race so Marie Antoinette has her head and is in the lead Ellis Rich on the inside is second as they come to the first which is a big old ditch and then all over its own with Las Esprit the only back marker that one was seventh in the Grand National last week by far its best race I think as they come down to the second and these fences look big but not very stiff and the one that's struggling towards the back is done in all it's a short run to the third one or two of them going through it and all over it okay and done in all doesn't appear to be happy at all at the moment at the back wouldn't be at all surprised to see that one depart the race pretty soon because he's Travelling nicely and uh, doesn't appear to be all that comfortable as they come to this next one. These fences are big and over it they go. Take it on trust that Dunno in all got over it okay. There's a lead in three then. Marie Antoinette, right stuff, and Ellis Rich, the clear of the remainder. A good six length clear of Street Joala in BRM. And after that one is Master Martha's as they come past the winning post. And uh, they've got, oh goodness knows how many circuits to go, probably three more circuits to go on this track. I'm not familiar with a lot of these hunter tracks, point to point tracks. And Gray's the expert on them. And um, they're not normally that big, so I reckon there's got to be three more circuits to go. And over that one they go, and there's Dunno in all. Skips over it. Which of these might get dizzy by the end of the race, I would think. And all still on their feet and they're all still racing they had to get some pull-ups later on and uh, right stuff is the leader Ellis Rich is second Marie Antoinette is third little gap to BRM and Street Joala and Master Martha's and Las Aes Prix getting a little bit closer and Ick here and Zell Stupo a little gap then to Spring Jamaican and Joala Street with hope she does on the inside and boredom tucked in behind them and Dunno in all will be in a slightly different parish at this point as they come to this next one is uphill and over it they go right stuff in the lead Ellis Rich second quite well strung out Marie Antoinette's third BRM is fourth and Master Martha's last ass Brie getting much closer than Street Joala Eck here that one's had a win this season I seem to remember towards the back, Spring Jamaican and Boredom I'm not sure how far behind Dunno in all is now but probably some distance away I would think as they take the ninth and over it they all go With the right stuff Marie Antoinette and Ellis Rich clear of BRM oh there's a fall of there Marie Antoinette has gone crashed through that fence and he's out of the race, so that's the first one to depart. And you can see there, Dunno in all is 20 lengths adrift on his closest rival, probably 50 lengths behind the leader. As they skip over number 11, and we're going to wait for Dunno in all to be up. Over the 12th they go now then. And maybe Dunno in all is not quite that far behind. Him. Look further on that other angle, he's probably only 12 lengths behind his nearest rival. But it's right stuff in the lead from Ellis Rich in second. Gap of about four then to BRM and then a gap of about six to Street Joala and Lasse Esprit. Don't know it all continuing around at the back. Oh, indeed now. Coming up to the straight and up to the winning post, should I say. We're going to see the crowd for a bit. Might do some jockey cabin maybe, probably. We go past the winning post two more circuits to go don't get dizzy chaps and right stuff's the leader Ellis Rich is second BRM is third and Street Joala is fourth and they're strung out like a procession at the moment 
And then Lasse is Pri and Master Marthas as they take the 14th. Ah, there's another faller gone there. That's Ek here's gone. Well, that's a bit of a surprise because Ek here was one of the ones you might have had a sneaking fancy for in this. And Ek here is now out. Oh, and a bad luck there for Alex Cherry. He must have had some hopes that his horse would do well in this. I think Dunno in all is going to be pulled up soon. He's a long way behind still. And right stuff's the leader. From Ellis Rich in second. BRM is third. Then Street Joala and Lasse Esprit. Master Marthas is after that one. Heads the main group, really, if you like, as they take the 16th. And over that one they go. Oh, one or two sketchy jumps. There's Dono in a way. You see him close up, but he's not as far behind as you think. When you see him on that other angle, he looks like he's miles behind. But you're going to have to get a bit closer soon, though. They've got two miles still to go. And right stuff is in the lead. By about three lengths to Ellis Rich. In second is a length clear of BRM. He's about four lengths clear of Lasseus Brew, he's a length clear of Street Joala. He's got Master Marthas for company on the outside, then a couple of lengths back then is Joala Street and hope she doesn't. Street Joala was the one that made the mistake that time. And they take this next one and all over that one, okay. Don't know, I mean, all getting quietly closer. But right stuff is the leader. Now by four. Starting to just pull away a little bit as I take that ditch. Oh, there's another four there. BRM's gone this time. The BRM a crashing fall into the fence. And the right stuff's the leader. Ellis Rich is second. Las Aspri is near third. Then Master Marvers and Street Joala. As they take the 20th, they've still got a lot of jumping to do. And Dunno it all at the back is getting just that little bit closer as they skip over the 21st. The remainder, all the horses that remain in the race are over that one safely. And I'm going to swing right handed now then and towards the next fence with right stuff clear by about three lengths to Ellis Richards, four clear of Las Aspreus, a couple of lengths clear of Master Marvel. And the leader's gone again. Goodness me. That's the second time the leader's fallen, I think. And right stuff is out of the race. So, drama in the last suspect hunters grand national as they come up past the winning post shortly then with one more complete circuit to go and ellis rich is the leader las Esprit is second master marthas is third then joala street is four boredom is five and street joala is six and zel stupo is seven and hope she does his eight then spring jamaican is nine and dunno and all is ten and forget the rest they're all out of it it's Ellis Rich in the lead. Coming down to this next one. Ellis Rich lands in the lead. Las Aspri lands in second. There's Dunno in all. No more than eight lengths off his nearest rival now. Getting much closer as they skip over that one. Oh, Dunno in all made a mistake. So it's Ellis Rich in the lead from Las Aspri. Master Marthas and Joala Street. Then a gap to Boredom. Then Street Joala. Then Hope She Does. Then Zell Stupo and Spring Jamaican. Dunno in all is still the back marker. But it's Ellis Rich in the lead. They're queuing up behind a challenge, though. They've still got a long way to go. They've still got a lot of fences to jump. It's Ellis Rich in front from Las Esprit in second. Over it they go. Good jump there by Master Marthas. I've seen that one going to second. Las Esprit under a bit of pressure in third. Joala Street being driven along in fourth. Here comes Hope She Does on the outside. Street Joala's still there as well. And a little gap to boredom. But Ellis Rich, from Hope She Does, who looks to be going best of all on the outside. Hope She Does is probably just the leader now then. Hope She Does in front. From Ellis Rich, Las Esprit, Street Joala and Joala Street. Then Master Marthas, over this one they go. They're all over that one okay as well. And Hope She Does has now gone three lengths clear. Hope She Does takes the 27th in the lead. Lands in front of Joala Street in second. Las Esprit is third. Then comes Ellis Rich, who's now beginning to drop away. It's Hope She Does then. Hope She Does comes towards the final three and a half furlongs in the lead. Over the 28th, clear in front of Joala Street, Las Esprit and Street Joala. Doug Warren playing a big hand in this race, but it's Hope She Does in the lead. They've got three to jump. It's 
Hope she does in the lead as we change angles. This is the third last. Hope she does gets over it in the lead. Then comes Joala Street. Then Lasse Espoir. Four of there was Street Joala. Street Joala's out of it. Down to the second last now. Then and over it they go. And it's Hope she does. Joala Street and Lasse Espoir. They've got one more fence to take. They've got two furlongs to race. And Joala Street is in the lead from Lasse Espoir in second. Now Hope she does looks beaten. It's between the front two, I think, as they come towards the final fence in the last suspect Grand National and it's Joala Street who lands in the lead slow jump by Lasse Esprit Joala Street in front Lasse Esprit trying to close they've got less than a half a foot on to go but Joala Street's getting the weight and Joala Street looks like he's going to hold on and racing up towards the line one last lunge from Lasse Esprit but Joala Street is going to take this one and Joala Street takes it for the one he is going to be skipping around like a lunatic having brought a four mile plus winner that's probably made his day and I don't even mind that he's beaten me. Schwarzer Street for Doug Warren takes it. Las Vegas Brew for Martin Lidham second. Hope she does for Darren Howes third. Spring Jamaican for Stu Gray was fourth. And Zell Stupo for Darren Thompson was fifth. I think that's your lot for week 12. One more week to go and then SO6 is history.